Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is an audio version of my blog entry titled A Year of OSINT Exercises Insights, Unveiling Patterns and Trends, originally published in January 2024. Let's do this. On 27 January 2023, I published my first OSINT exercise page, aiming to offer free educational content in the form of well-structured OSINT challenges. My objective was twofold teaching beginners the fundamentals of finding data, verifying data and analyzing data, whilst also presenting seasoned experts with tasks that may test their skills. I hope they did. Now, one year later, I not only celebrate my own achievement, yay, but also those who have used these challenges to improve their skills. Well done, everyone. And what better way to mark this occasion than by showing how you can do an OSINT report on literally anything. With this objective in mind, I embarked on a strange inception-like investigation targeting my own OSINT exercises and social media presence to see what sort of intelligence I could gather from it. Essentially, an OSINT investigation into OSINT exercises created by an OSINT analyst, which is me. So all hail OSINT. Long live OSINT. I absolutely, absolutely love this image. Oh my God, look at that. It's amazing. Anyway, let's keep going. Insights into number of exercises and tasks. Between 27 January 2023 and 27 January 2024, I published 22 exercise pages. Each page contained between one to four tasks, totaling 47 requests. Out of those 22, nine exercise pages contain exactly three tasks, making this the most frequent number of requests. Only exercise number 022 presented the reader four challenges. The figure below shows the number of tasks per OSINT exercise page. So you can see here you have the number of the exercise page. Some of them only had one task. You can see the lower bar and then some of them had two tasks. Many, the majority had three tasks and one that had four tasks. The most attentive ones among you may have already noticed something interesting. The graph above provides a valuable insight into one of the pages. OSINT exercise 020's first task was to locate it. The graph allows you to establish without having to find the page that it contains two more tasks totaling three. So here you go, 020 has three tasks. You don't even have to find it, I'm already telling you, it has three tasks insights into difficulty levels. In terms of difficulty level, there's a clear and expected contrast in the distribution of easy, medium and hard tasks between beginners and experts. Whilst most tasks were labeled as medium difficulty for beginners, so this one here in yellow, a significant majority comprising 66% of all 47 tasks were categorized as easy for experts. The graph below depicts the percentage of tasks created between 27 January 2023 and 27 January 2024 classified as easy, medium and hard for both beginners and experts. So you can see here, easy is in green. Most of them are easy for experts or should be easy for experts, whilst the minority are easy for beginners. And there's 43% medium difficulty and then 34% hard difficulty for beginners. Whilst for experts, although the majority is quite easy, you still have quite a few that are medium and even hard. Applying the same approach as before, we can determine the difficulty levels assigned to the tasks in OSINT exercise 020. The exercise announcement posted on 28 August 2023 stated the difficulty level was marked as beginners, medium and experts easy. Whilst the announcement did not specify the number of tasks, we have previously established that this exercise contained three tasks. By analyzing the graph above, we can verify that all three tasks were categorized as medium difficulty for beginners and easy for experts through a process of elimination. So if you were to check the difficulty level or all the other ones that you can see on each page, you'll realize that three of them are missing, which are the ones that were for exercise 020 and they were medium difficulty and they were easy here on the experts. Anyway, that's it. Overall, the distribution depicted in the graph highlights the target audience. The data appears to 
validate the initial announcement on Twitter, which stated, I have been creating exercise to help people who want to gain OSINT skills. While experts will certainly still be challenged by many tasks, beginners will experience a diverse experience, ranging from easy exercises to practice to over a third classified as hard, demanding a higher level of dedication to solve insights into day and time of publication. All exercises were initially announced on Twitter. Throughout 2023, they also started being shared on Mastodon, Blue Sky, LinkedIn and finally on YouTube. Twitter was therefore the primary platform for collecting data related to the publication dates of each exercise page, mostly because it contains all of them, that's it. By gathering information on when each exercise page was announced on social media, we can gain some insights into when they had likely been created. The graph below illustrates the distribution of exercise pages published on each day of the week. It's clear that Sunday was the most active day, followed by Monday and Saturday with six, five and four exercise pages respectively. This indicates that the majority of challenges were likely created during the weekend. We can clean up this data further. On 26 January 2023, a day before OSIN exercise 001 was released, I shared a tweet stating, I have been creating exercises to help people who want to gain OSIN skills. I'll add them to my website soon, but in the meanwhile, here's a sample. The post, accompanied by a screenshot showing the briefing and tasks for OSINT Exercise 005, confirms that prior to the release of the first exercise, there were already at least five exercise pages created. We can therefore clean the data regarding the publication day to obtain better intel. Considering that the first five exercise pages were likely created several days, possibly weeks, prior to their release date, we should exclude them from our data pool. This allows us to focus on the day of the week each exercise page from 006 to 022 was announced on Twitter. The updated graph below further supports the hypothesis that most exercise pages were created during the weekend. So you can see suddenly there's a difference, isn't it? You still have a lot of them on Monday, Sunday and Saturday with a few during the week, but it is quite different from this one, which is a lot more diverse. Let's go back down again. Where were we? Okay, so no exercise page between OSINT exercise 006 to 022 was announced on a Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. Almost 50% were announced on a weekend, there you go, this one, and almost 30% on Monday alone insights into frequency of publishing. As we have previously established between 27 January 2023 and 27 January 2024, I published 22 exercise pages. However, despite maintaining a release frequency of every two weeks, more or less, there was a noticeably discrepancy between the first and second halves of the year in terms of publication frequency. The graph below illustrates the decline from an extremely busy first six month period to a sparser second half of the year. It's worth noting that the graph only covers January to December 2023 as there were no OSINT exercises published between 21st December 2023 and 27 January 2024. And that was on purpose because I figured it would just be easier for me to do these graphs. So the first exercise of 2024 was after the 27 January, just so I wouldn't have to put another bar here. That's it. There are a few additional insights we can draw from the data shared above. More than half of the OSIN exercise pages were published within the first three months of the project. This suggests that the abundance of material during this period may have been a result of pre-planning potentially occurring before the announcement of the OSINT exercises creation. This hypothesis is supported by the Twitter post previously mentioned shared on 26 January 2023. You know, the one where I shared, here we go, this one saying that, yes, I've been creating stuff. Let's go back. While there was a clear decline between the first three months and the following ones, the absence of exercises between late August, which was the 28th, and November 9th is notable. Let's look at that. So between the 28th of August, when this was published, and the 9th of November, when this was published, there was nothing. An analysis of my Twitter account sheds light on a possible reason for this gap. On 24th September, I shared various photos seen below, so here, indicating my invitation 
invitation to speak at the Europol headquarters in The Hague with one photo specifying the event date as 20 September 2023, which is this one, but you'd have to click to actually see the date. But it says there 20 September 2023. That's when this happened. Considering our early intel that exercises were likely created during the weekend, it's plausible that preparations for the Europol event affected the amount of free time available for creating and releasing new exercises. Another gap in activity is observed between late September and early November. On 15 October 2023, I shared a link to a blog entry covering the file type advanced search engine operator. Additionally, on 27 November 2023, I shared another photo confirming my attendance at another event at the Europol where I also gave a talk. These engagements offer a reasonable explanation for the reduced number of exercise pages in the later half of 2023. Basically, I was busy. That's it. I'm sorry. I was just very busy. Insights into recording date versus publication date. In addition to creating and publishing OSINT exercises, I also provide video walkthroughs for all challenges. These videos upload to YouTube, display my entire screen as I tackle the tasks presented on each page. It's therefore possible to observe the date and time of each recording. I collected the exact time shown on the screen at the end of each video, rounding to the nearest hour. So for example, you have here, if the video finished recording at 16.06, I rounded that down to 16. And if the recording finished at 22.39, I will round it up to 23. The graph below indicates that the most common hour for recording the walkthroughs is 23 or 11 p.m., with 11 videos out of 22 recorded around that time. Following closely are midnight here and 22 or 10 p.m., with 5 and 4 videos respectively. Overall, the data suggests a preference for recording between 22 and midnight, as a total of 20 out of 22 videos were recorded during that time range. And in case you're curious about the other two, one of them was a bank holiday and the other one was a Saturday, and I just thought I'll just do it in the afternoon. The graph above suggests that OSINT exercise walkthroughs are recorded mainly outside of typical work hours, between the end of the average working day and normal bedtime. So now you know what's my bedtime. <laughs> this supports the previously discussed hypothesis that they are created during my free time as a hobby on weekends and evenings. Insights into time gap, video to OSINT announcement. Although all OSINT exercises come with a video walkthrough, the link to YouTube is not immediately posted. In the majority of social media announcements, you will find the sentence solution with full walkthrough will be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow. This implies that the recording demonstrating how to solve the OSINT challenges is typically posted within 24 hours of announcing the new exercise. But is the video recorded within this time gap or is it recorded prior to the announcement? To answer this question, I use the aforementioned data. Each video display the day and hour of recording in the bottom right corner of the screen. I designated the date and time of announcement as the baseline, point zero, so it will be here in the middle, and calculated the number of minutes between this point and the time the recording ended. So I hope this makes sense. This was the announcement. Here you go at zero. And then I checked what was the exact time the recording of the walkthrough finished. The graph below shows the deviation in minutes between the baseline and the time displayed on the screen at the end of recording. So exactly what I explained. A negative number in green, so all of this here, indicate a video recorded prior to the announcement. So this was the announcement and it was recorded before. Whilst a positive number in red indicates a video recorded after the announcement. So see, this was all recorded after I announced here at the zero. OSINT exercise 002 was excluded from this analysis as it required the correction due to an error. So I messed up, sorry. <laughs> the time between the original announcement in February and the second recording, which took place in April, was better measured in weeks, which would have skewed the data. And this would have ended up being a horrible graph if I had included that super big. Insights gleaned from the data above reveal that in the vast majority of cases, the video walkthrough for an OSINT exercise page was recorded before its announcement. 
In 11 out of 21 exercises, the recorder concluded less than an hour prior to the announcement on social media. So what does this mean? It means that I finished recording and less than an hour later, a few minutes later, I announced the exercise so everyone could have a go, but I had already finished recording the solution. Four exercises stand out as an exception with their solution walkthrough videos recorded after the announcement. So all these four here. OSINT exercise 011 and 016, so these two first ones, marked as hard for both beginners and experts, had announcements on Twitter stating the solution would be uploaded within three days, deviating from the usual 24 hour time frame. So I announced in advance, this is going to take longer, sorry. But why were they not recorded before the announcement, regardless of the difficulty? I examined tweets posted around the time these challenges were announced, and one stood out. On 11 March 2023, just 50 minutes before announcing OSINT exercise 011, I shared, I have achieved greatness, <laughs> lots of exclamation marks. I managed to solve OSINT exercise 011, so it is possible. I'll give people three days to try to solve it before I show how it can be done. In parentheses, I also need time to figure out how on earth to explain all of this. Given that both exercises 011 and 016 were labeled as hard for experts and beginners, and I was clearly extremely excited about solving one of them, it's likely I was too eager to release them without proper planning for the recording. And that's exactly what happened, to be fair. The two last exercises, 021 and 022, were also recorded after the announcement. If we examine the tweets around the time of the announcement, we may notice one that featured the photo from OSINT Exercise 022 page along the text. You know you're addicted to geolocations when you look at the chocolate and decide you must geolocate the map seen on the bar as seen below. So here's a tweet. Although the tweet did not explicitly mention an exercise, the same photo was later used for an exercise page and now slightly over 24 hours later, suggesting that this exercise might have been a spontaneous decision. That's exactly what happened. A tweet between these events might further support this hypothesis. On 8 November 2023, at 23.59, I replied to a comment asking for information, stating, I'm afraid I can't answer those questions yet. I have plans for this image first. It seems that exercises not planned in advance may require extra time for recording the walkthrough video, as I get too excited and post them shortly after solving them. Exactly, that's literally what happens. As mentioned in an analysis earlier, the first five challenges were created prior to the announcement of the OSINT exercises. Despite being developed days or possibly weeks in advance, we've seen that the solution walkthrough recordings were concluded less than an hour before each announcement. Let me show that what I mean. So look at that, that was all concluded less than an hour before the announcement, all of this, all the way to 006. Let me go back again. Where was I? We can go even further and note that OSINT exercise 006 appears to follow a similar pattern to the initial five exercises. Whilst OSINT exercise 007 appears to have been recorded much earlier and exercises 008 and 009 were recorded less than 10 minutes prior to the announcement, the solution for 006 was also recorded within an hour of posting, consistent with the trend of the first five. This suggests that by the time the OSINT exercises idea was announced on social media, I had already created at least six exercises. And let me go and show what I mean. So you can see, I'm going to zoom because it's very small, isn't it? That's it. So you can see here how all of this shows similar pattern and suddenly we have this one which was recorded five hours and 27 minutes before I announce. And I'm going to confess here that the only reason this happened here was because I scheduled this one to be released at 4 something AM, just because I like to contaminate my own data, just in case someone is doing some sort of investigation. So a few of the things that you'll see here are contaminated. I messed up my own data. Not much to be fair. That was, I was very good for most of it. Let's go back. Conclusion. You can do an OSINT investigation on almost anything. A simple analysis on the list of OSINT exercises released between 27 January 2023 and 27 January 2024 provided valuable insight into how they are developed. We can observe clear patterns of behavior showing that I tend to work on them in the evening, most frequently during weekends, and I almost 
always record the video walkthrough between 22 and midnight. We can also establish that prior to the announcement of the OSINT exercises list, I had already created various challenges which were released over the first two weeks. It's also possible to notice that exercises marked as hard for experts follow slightly different patterns. This is possibly to do with the fact that they take longer to explain, but also possibly because I appear to get overly excited with them and struggle to wait until I have recorded the walkthrough to release them on social media. I just cannot stop myself, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy reading about the magical world of how Sophia spends her free time. Thank you so much for your support over the past year of OSIN exercises. Let there be many more ahead. Thank you for listening. Sophia.